Hi everyone, Tony from Act Movies here, and today we're going to talk about the Tremors film series. There's seven of these movies, and today we're going to decide which Tremors movie is the worst. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just submitting this horror script I've been working on to this studio. I'm a little nervous because the first draft I submitted didn't go over so well. This script is terrible. You literally wrote a scene like, the killer shows up and he's kind of scary. And another that goes, the girl was afraid and is now not afraid and she start to scream. But you spelled scream S-C-R-E-E-M. You also have no idea how to format a script, construct a story, or form a proper sentence. Get out of my office! But thanks to Skillshare, who's sponsoring this video, that's all in the past. I signed up for Skillshare and checked out Henry Garcia's class on writing your first short horror story, The Bare Bones. I was able to form an outline and decide what perspective the story should be told and the importance of showing as opposed to telling. I learned so much that I ended up doing his other class, Advanced Lessons for Horror Storytellers. But I wasn't done just yet. I then checked out Screenwriting Masterclass by Brian Birmingham. After that, I was able to give my horror script another crack. Oh, I think they're done reading my script. I've seen the future of horror, and its name is Tony from Hack the Movies. Thanks, Skillshare. Skillshare has a lot of other classes to choose from, too. So no matter what you're interested in, there will be something for you. The first 1,000 of my viewers who sign up through the link in the description will get a one-month free trial to Skillshare. Start exploring your creativity today. Hello, Joe and Sean from Movie Dumpster. How are you? All right, Tony. Thanks for having us again. Fans have been really asking us to dive into Tremors. This is one of the most consistently good <laughs> direct to video <laughs> movies oh, okay Wait, what, what's Series. that phrase again that tony and uh, kieran came up with fun, fun and yeah. fun yeah, yeah that's what i was thinking oh around. yeah a yeah, lot big of times these. yeah especially look, after two look there's a couple where good is uh, but, but fine and fun i feel like most <laughs> yeah. of the time yes uh tremors very very long-running franchise shockingly yeah it's one of those movies that did okay when it came out didn't really wow people and then just blew up on direct to video or TV. Like it found its audience on TV. We we also talked about like a long time ago, the second episode of the show, we talked about how like the Stargate movie was kind of like, okay. And then it led to like these multiple long running series. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of like that. Um, obviously I think it's safe to say we all love Tremors. Oh yeah. It was a big, it was on USA all the time yes. as a kid. Yes. Yeah. How about you, Sean? Uh, the first one is awesome. I hadn't seen it in a while, so it was nice to go back to it. I was like, oh, yeah, this movie's still amazing. It's, so it's good. good. It's a good time. Uh, I actually saw the second one first. Oh, really? Uh, and, like, that one hooked me in, so eventually I rented the first one. I'm like, holy shit, this is great. I, I saw the first one on TV a bunch, and yeah. I, I remember vividly going into the primetime video yeah. when it was still around in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. I walked in when Tremors 2 had just dropped on tape, Yeah. and it was a big display with him, and I was like, Tremors 2? Yes. <laughs> Immediately rented it and fell in love with it. Uh, Where's Kevin Bacon? <laughs> That's okay, because we get Earl no. Bassett. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with the first plot of Tremors, uh, Joe, could you could you please read? Everyone loves when we read the back of you the box. You want me to read the back of the box? Okay, well. Yes. I mean, granted, we can only do it for three of the movies, because then we don't have the back of the box for the other ones. We don't. I think, I think the fourth one came out on tape, but I don't have that on tape. But that's fine. That's fine. So okay, what, what happened in Tremors 1? The classic Tremors. Kevin Bacon. Kevin Tremors. Bacon and Fred Ward, R.I.P., star as two country handymen who lead a cast of zany characters to safety in this exciting sci-fi creature comedy. Just as Val McKee, Bacon... Kevin Bacon, that is. Uh, and Earl Bassett, Fred Ward, decide to leave Perfection Nevada. Strange rumblings prevent their departure. With the help of a shapely seismology student, 
Finn Carter. <laughs> shapeless? I mean, she's nice. I wouldn't call her shapeless. You will have world-class breasts. <laughs> what is he saying? Legs that go all, all the way up. She's a good-looking girl. She's, shapely yeah, is yeah, not the word I'd uh, use for her, but no. anyway, continue. She's intelligent. Yeah. Shapely, though. Yeah. <laughs> shapely? That's a, that's a bizarre choice for no, her. No, actually, yeah. She's got a real good butt. As we find out. I guess I'd have to look at it again. Yeah. Anyway. She's wearing desert clothes. Well, when... when and not even, like, when she gets caught desert clothes. When she gets like, caught, practical desert clothes. When she gets caught in the barbed wire. Oh, I guess, yes. Oh, oh of yeah. course. Yes. Uh, they discovered their desolate town is infested with the gigantic man-eating creatures that have... That live below ground. Uh, the race is on to overcome these slimy subterraneans and find a way to higher ground in this enjoyable thriller co-starring Michael Gross and Reba McIntyre. Co-starring. <laughs> This Reba. would be the last time. Well, no, this would be the second to last time he co-starred in this series. Yes. He went on. He to becomes be, the star. He went on to be the star of the series. Uh, yeah. So basically, what can you say about it? It's it's Jaws with worms in the Don't sand. Don't do that to this movie. No, that's that's like the elevator pitch for it. But yeah. like the characters really, it, like I love this town. Like this this is the case. Uh, this is a rare case for like a creature feature where I actually like the characters yes. and don't actually want them to die. Yeah. Maybe that kid, Melvin. Uh, but I don't actually yeah. want them to die because they're all so wacky and fun. And yeah. Come on, Chang. Oh, I love Chang. It's they, so sad when I, Chang dies. Walter Chang. Uh, do you know that actor's name? Joe, everyone knows his name is Victor Wong. Of I course. know it. Sean knows it. Yes. You're the only one who didn't know that his name was Victor Wong. I know. I'm terrible. I don't have any trivia knowledge whatsoever. <laughs> and I definitely didn't look that up. I just knew it off the top of my and head. And I've only seen this movie one time. Wow. <laughs> really sprung for the uh, the premiere Arrow release version of yeah. <laughs> Can't stand this movie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a joke, folks. But yeah, no, the the <laughs> characters are all like so much fun. Uh, and you, again, you care you care about the doctor when him and his wife get eaten in the freaking yeah, car. It's a great mix of comedy and horror. Yes, you know it what really I mean? is. On the set of this western, it's yeah. weird. I love uh, <laughs> Kevin Bacon and uh, Fred Ward are like trying to be like these big like entrepreneurs, but yeah. they're in the middle of fucking nowhere. I love like as they're leaving, like they just pack up and like work on, and then. And Mrs. Briggs from mm, Twin Peaks. She's yeah, like, ah, yeah. I got like something you can work on. <laughs> we just left this town one goddamn day too late. <laughs> Every time they leave, there's another catastrophe that stops By the way, them. You just hit Matthew McConaughey's voice. For <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine Matthew McConaughey and Fred Ward? <laughs> Fucking, we're going to get those goddamn tremors. <laughs> I can uh, see it. I well, can see it. <laughs> grab boys. Well, man. Matthew McConaughey would have been able to. As we know, he's really good with dragons. So That's he right. would have taken these ones out. Come on, big boy. <laughs> Into a fucking grab boy oh, now with the axe. axe. Yeah, God, I do think bro. it is <laughs> funny shovel. seeing it is funny seeing Ariana Richards in this. Yeah, I could, okay. Well, we'll get back to that later. Yeah. But when she comes back in one of the sequels, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I yeah. can't believe that. But shit. but it was just like, oh yeah, before Jurassic Park, she was in this. Yeah. <laughs> so, like uh, only a couple years before. Yeah, just a couple yeah. years. She's addicted to pogo sticks. It's super quotable. Yes. It's super fun. The effects yeah. are amazing, and it's fun to learn about the because they are like animals. They're not yeah. space aliens, yeah. which is... Well, we find that in the second one. Well, they're not space aliens. No, I know. But yeah, we yeah. find out the Well, origins. I mean, they act like animals. So basically, they're worms. What you need to know, they're worms, oh. and they sense vibration. They have three tongues that come out that grab you, hence the name Graboids. Snakeoids! <laughs> yeah. wait, wait, well, we gotta, credit, we gotta credit that to Walter Chong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait, uh, Chang. Chang, uh, Chang yes. excuse me. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Graboids! <laughs> All right. That's, That's a great scene. Yeah. I do love that. They have a plaque on the wall yeah. in one of the sequels yeah. of the. And so it's funny because. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, I knew that was coming. We had a candle here. It's done now. Um, it's funny because the cover, that's not the Graboid, that's the Graboid tongue, but they make it look big. Right. And so even it, then, it's not entirely accurate. It's not colored yeah. the way they look yeah. like. So, it, so it's kind of misleading, and it is a fun reveal because um, had I not seen the second one first, oh. I wouldn't have known this, but if you go into it blind, it's like, oh, so they're little snakes, and then when the big one comes out, you're like, oh, shit! Must be a million of them! Nope, just one. Nope, just one. It's fun to see like how they kill each one. So they kill yeah. the first one on accident. Yeah. Uh, the second one, our boy Bert, <laughs> Bert and his wife. Oh God! <laughs> they, they unload on this thing. They, they, it bursts through the wall in their yeah, basement. It bursts through the worst 
possible wall it could have burst through yeah. in this entire town. It burst through the wall of the guy who really cares about the Second Amendment. He has every <laughs> single gun possible, and they light that fucking thing up. It's like that scene in Men in Black when they go back there with all the weaponry, like at the convenience store. Yeah. That's basically this guy's basement. And then, of course, I love the... La I love... So this one did... There's one thing I criticized Jurassic Park for. Mm -hmm. It never told us who the big one was. There's a raptor that's the big one. Oh, and then yeah. when you watch it, they all look the same. So you never know. So this one, they have Stumpy because they ripped off one of his tongues. Like, right. okay, that's like the bad one. Well, yeah, but it's very like yeah. loose. You know? uh, but yeah, it's real clever how they kill him, tricking him to jump off the yeah. bridge. And it's just a solid, solid monster flick. I don't know anyone who would ever watch this and be like, no. Nah. I don't know how you could watch this and be like, nah, it sucked. Yeah, and Kevin Bacon's charming in it. So funny. This is still before he went like, like he was a big star at this point, but yeah. he wasn't like gigantic right. yet. He was pretty damn big. He was big. At this point. He was big, but he yeah. wasn't like, he would end up becoming way bigger. Oh, 100%. Yes. I mean, speaking of McConaughey, it's not like yeah. a situation like we had when we, we did a Texas yeah. Chainsaw well, 4. Well, he was just getting his beak wet at this right. point. Well, I guess my point being is like, this movie just came out. Yes. Like that had that whole situation where it sat on the shelf for years yeah. and then there was all that weird thing. Well, we can't let people yeah. know he's in it. It's like, no, this is pretty well known Kevin Bacon movie oh, yes. yeah. that everyone generally speaking likes. I mean, it sounds like we all like it. Yeah. yeah. For whatever reason, it wasn't like a gigantic hit. It was like a moderate hit, which leads to Tremors 2. So Tremors 2 was almost theatrical. But it, feel, it feels like it. It feels like it. That's it. It feels somewhere in the middle because I yeah. feel like you I start think to get some of those effects that don't gel well immediately yes. in the sequel. There, there's a lot of post production stuff mm. that might but go into that. But they use a lot of puppets. I got to They do. Yeah, they yeah. do. Because so I think this was meant, it was a very expensive direct. I think yeah. it was at the time the most expensive direct to video movie. It could be. Because I think it was meant for the theater. But to your to that point, yeah. like, you know, by this time, Full Moon's putting out all these things directed yeah. videos. So we're getting like, pup, well, I think we're getting, what is this, 94 ish? We're getting Puppet Master 4 I think and it's 5. Oh, really? We're getting Puppet Master 4 and 5 around the same time. But like, yeah. this knocked my socks off as a kid because I was used to like, yeah. Full Moon Affair and stuff like that, like coming direct to so video? That's the thing. So the home video market really, I mean, the 80s was when I got big. Yeah. But when it came to like direct to video movies, I feel like the 90s was like when it got like huge. It was prime. They and can bypass getting them released theatrically and they can go yeah. right to distribution. And this, by the way, this trend still exists to this day. Not as bad as it was in the 90s and 2000s where you have like an okay hit and then a million goddamn. I once told a friend of mine, like, you know, there's sequels to the movie SWAT. And they're like, what? Who's oh. watching those? Remember Behind Enemy Lines with uh, Owen Wilson? Really good movie, That's right? That's a great film. It's a great film. Mm -hmm. Did okay. There's three of those. So there's, a, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what so, okay. course do they take place in? <laughs> so <laughs> it's still to this day they do this where they're like, oh, that movie was moderately successful. And then the biggest offender was Disney. Where they would just do direct, they would make one movie, then direct the video sequels. Oh, well, sure, yeah. Because your kid is gonna buy Lion King two and a half. Yeah, they're gonna buy it. <laughs> right, and three and whatever yeah. else with came the dime after store that. animation that they kind of you know the cheapy one that they yeah. direct the video. Right? But no, Disney this, Princess Collection and all that. But shit. because I think this was almost meant for the actual, it stands apart from a lot of those movies. When I found, I didn't realize this. I mean, I watched it on tape in the 1996, but I didn't know. I assumed it was a movie that was in theaters, and I was actually shocked when I was looking it up. I'm like. That was direct to video? Holy yeah. shit. And it's one of those things, too, where, you know, like the first one had come out theatrically, but I've seen it on TV a hundred times. Yeah. There was no previews for Tremors 2. It was just there on the shelf one yeah. day. You uh, know what I mean? And, and it was uh, like, oh my God. And uh, I'll, I'll do the honors here. If you don't know about Tremors oh, yeah. 2, the worms Aftershocks. have turned. Aftershocks, the worms have turned. All right. You, you don't <laughs> want to forget that. That's important. And me and Joe were talking before. These aren't in the movie. No. These are not the shriekers. These are not the tongues. These are not the grab. What are these? Who made these for this cover? They were like, oh, you know, this fake out worked really well. Let's I do guess. that again. <laughs> Just Photoshop that again, but a little bit more gnarly. Here we go. They're back. The giant underground creatures that terrorized a desert town and tremors are now plowing their way through Mexican oil fields, gobbling up everything and everyone around. And only one man can stop them. Well, it, it's it's a couple people. Well, yeah. In the style of its predecessor, this comedy sci-fi creature feature reunites Fred Ward 
as Down on His Luck Earl Bassett and Michael Gross as Gung Ho Survivalist Burt Gummer. Two desert desperados who take on the task of destroy. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> take on the task of destroying the monsters. Partner with them is Christopher Christopher Garden, a young guy in need of kicks, cash, and a career change. Grady, Grady and, Hoover, at, huh? Grady, Grady Hoover. Oh, and the yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Helen Shaver, a sexy and intrepid scientist who's seen it all until now. Together, they form an ingenious plan for tracking and killing the creatures that is filled with high-speed action and plenty of laughs until the predators wise up. It's a tongue-in-cheek thriller from the creative team that brought you the original Tremors with the new outrageous creature effects from Jurassic Park's Phil Tippett and Jumanji's Alec Gillis and Tom Woodruff Jr. Uh, I now, did not know Phil Tippett were. I guess I guess so, I think that that was the go motion. There was a lot of go motion in this then. Well, no, it was CGI. It was CG. Full? Here's the thing. Here's the thing with Phil Tippett. Uh, he was a go motiony guy, but I think because he was on Jurassic Park, huh? <laughs> didn't he yes. invent go motion? <laughs> yes, but I think him being involved with Jurassic Park, he jumped on the digital thing pretty early. Yeah. He was very, very smart and jumped onto that because there's like Phil Tippett Studios. They do a bunch of CGI yeah. for a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. like the Twilight movies and shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he he jumped on that trend pretty quick. Uh, and the CG is a, for a 1996 directed video movie. This CG looks better than it has any right. It's to great. Well, OK, fine. Had it come out in the theater, it probably would have been with a more budget would have been more polished. But for what we get, it looks good. And like. It's not that bad. There's it's not that bad. There's a couple sequences, maybe like when it's running towards him in that one, yes. that one scene. Yes. Other than that, I there's mean, a that, lot of practical shrieker yeah. stuff in this. Yeah, because honestly, like, not to jump ahead because we're going through each one of these, but the one after this CG is way worse. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but yes. there's a couple scenes with these, like, the, the shriekers that are basically yeah. like the chicken walkers or whatever. <laughs> yes. Uh, that are, that, when they they're like mousers. The yeah. 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 Well, 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 spe speaking of Jurassic Park, the Graboids, they now have this new thing. Where uh, once they eat enough, they like slowly die and they give birth to three shriekers. Well, it's part of their evolutionary yes. biology right. or yes. how their, their uh, what is it, uh, life cycle. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and the Which shriekers cool. are bipedal mm -hmm. and they love to hunt people and they're velociraptors. Anyway, uh, they're velociraptors <laughs> with, up. They're with, velociraptors with predator glands. vision. Yeah, I think yeah, there's yeah. even a kitchen scene in here somewhere. Yeah, there is a kitchen yeah, scene in a later oh, one. Maybe it's one of the, so again, watch seven of these over the course of a few days. It starts to blend together a little. Uh, I do like the Shrieker designs. They're really, yeah. really cool. It's a fun evolution because I love, I love the first part of the movie where they're like, they're like pros at it now. They're yeah. like, we know what to do. We know what to do this, blah, 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 blah. That montage when they're rolling around. Yeah. Because they get all this stuff from the Mexican government. Oh, by the way, the guy who dies in the oil fields in the beginning is Thomas Rosales Jr. Yep. Who we were oh, talking about. Okay. Who I think I often mispronounce as John Rosales Jr. I'm sorry. I think that was on the Predator 2 episode. I'm you sorry. Said I think I did it again for Hulk. <laughs> No. I, Tom and John, I don't know. I always screw it up. I get the last name right yeah. and the junior. <laughs> it's just the first name I fuck up. I mean, you're uh, right there. You're right there. You're right there. But they get all this ammunition from the Mexican government. And they right. get whatever they want. So yes. the way that they hunt them, you figure out in the beginning, in the first movies, they hunt by sound. So they get RC cards with yes. fucking dynamite and, and yeah. remote charges on them. It's but, the like, coolest like, thing ever. Uh, Fred Ward is at the last saw with one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Uh, but yeah, so Fred Ward, I love his character. So he, he uh, screwed up. And he didn't get any of the money <laughs> from all the exploits. Story like arc. so, Kevin Bacon married that girl and went off, and they right. made a ton of money. Yes, and he did not. <laughs> and he invested in an ostrich farm. <laughs> yes, right. But he I does have the graboid arcade, arcade cabinet. cabinet. I'm telling you right now. I was just talking to Tony about this. I want to get an arcade for my house, and I was like, "What art do I want to put on my arcade cabinet?" It's going to be the graboid. graboid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got your own one of yeah. these. <laughs> I love. Uh, so Bert, this is when they promote Bert. Burt Gummer is yeah. now, he's, I guess he's like the fourth main character in this, really. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. After yeah. this, he is the main character, but Because sure. you have, oh, I'm sorry, what was the guy, Christopher, what's his name? Grady Hoover is he, like the- I, I'll be honest. He's like the super fan. I hate this guy. I, 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 I love him. Here's my problem with this movie. He yeah. is one of them. Well, yes. bam, 50 G's. He is he's, literally, we couldn't on. get Kevin Bacon back, so we changed a couple of lines and made this guy the super he's, fan. Yeah, I can't get into his character no, at all. He's, I think he's kind funny. of annoying, but yeah. like, not funny annoying. I, I got just two could, of these. I keep one wrapped in plastic. 
I think I think he was just like, all right, I'm replacing Kevin Bacon. I gotta give it my all, and it's just like you did too much, buddy. Calm down. Calm I, down. I also feel like overall this series has a problem with like we always have to have two characters together, which is like from a writing standpoint, fine. I totally get it, yeah. and, and just to keep the plot, you know, kind of cooking. Yeah. But sometimes I'm just like. I could have just done with the one character in this scene, like it's this movie and a couple coming up, but it's like, man, this character is, is just annoying yeah. and doesn't really do much. Well, yes. He's a hell of a salesman, that's yeah. for sure. Because he gets, <laughs> he he gets Fred Ward out of uh, retirement uh, or true. whatever yeah. to go kill um, some graboids. I drove but, all the way out here. <laughs> but Burr's promoted. His wife has left him because he took the fall of the Sov Soviet <laughs> Union too hard. <laughs> I love like, how that's how they excuse Rita like, McIntyre out of the movie. You know, she actually blames our problems on the collapse of the Soviet Union. Well, you did take that kind of hard, Bert. I love the slow, like, the showing the his out. rec room, and then it pans out. He's got the graboid head mounted on the wall. Yeah. yeah. One day. <laughs> one, one day. day that's well, going know, in my basement. You know where we might be able to see a graboid head? Where? At Studio ADI. Oh, we uh, should totally do that. We should. Uh, Alec Gillis responded to one of my Instagram posts recently. Oh, I asked really? him why the chest burster for the queen and alien resurrection didn't mm -hmm. look like alien three yeah uh and he gave me a really good response and uh alec if you see this one we would love to tour the studio can we please tour the studio studio maybe we can get it in with nick benson yes he worked on tremors yes and society and the blob i really want to go to your studio and look at everything Johanna needs to see the newborn alien maquette you have. <laughs> the newborn alien <laughs> statue up close I need to see some tremor stuff we want to see some tremor stuff can we tour your studio we're very famous well, he's famous. Can we just come with him? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, but yeah, the the effects are phenomenal. It's a good time. I love how they have to just change everything last minute. They're like, we're pros. Oh, fuck. And then they call Bert in. It's a whole new goddamn ballgame. And I, yeah, I love yeah. Bert being overprepared, like leads to their downfall. <laughs> What's wrong with being prepared? I love how he's like. Is it this one or the third one where he builds the fucking cinder block? No, it's the that, cinder block wall around that's the whole a third compound. One. That's the third oh, okay. one. No, this is the one where he brings a ton of MREs yeah. and then they yeah. find out that when the monsters eat, they can like regurgitate up other shriekers and then they end up in his truck with all the MREs. I love, I love when Grady and Earl are eating lunch or whatever and they see the thing come because they have this... Uh, uh, radar for right. graboids and they see that they they see it coming and they hear the noise like oh shit is that one of them get up get up get off the ground <laughs> and it's fucking Bert and he comes over the hill in this giant <laughs> oh, truck oh yeah and this this starts the running gag in the series where he's all like why I'm like I feel like I was not giving critical need, need to, to know, know information yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seahawks hat <laughs> and it becomes it becomes like a, a thing yeah. a running gag yeah yeah they also do have a pretty good gag later in the movie when they're like trying to defeat these things when they're yeah. all like on top of like different platforms and these <laughs> things are literally like jumping on each other's backs like cheerleaders to yeah. try to get to the people that was cool because so in the first one the graboids knew they were on the building but couldn't sense them so they started like breaking the buildings to knock yeah. them down or digging around them so they collapse yes yeah. and then, so in this one they're they don't go underground so I like that they like they were like, all right, well now we're gonna jump and jump and jump. Yeah, kind of like goats almost. Like, <laughs> honestly, like, seriously yeah, though, no, you're yeah. right. Um, probably the best bit in the movie. All right, there's two really good bits. Anti tank. The one is <laughs> oh, is that a coyote? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it's Ian. Uh, two is when he has the anti tank gun to kill the shrieker. <laughs> Three. Man, this stuff tastes like toilet paper. <laughs> and that is oh, real. God, the MRE, that is the yeah. Toilet paper. That was so good. there's a point where they have to kill a shrieker to get to a truck. And he has the anti tank gun. Yeah. So it kills With one bullet. Yeah, it kills the shrieker. <laughs> and I love as they're running, they're seeing the bullet hole, and then it made it all the way to the car <laughs> and destroyed the engine. He's like, How could I have known? <laughs> I'm kind of with them on that one. How good yeah. he? Uh so they did the predator effect, but different. They didn't mm -hmm. use the heat vision cameras. They apparently wore like red body suits and like oh, manipulated that's a little bit. Oh. Yeah, they didn't do the they didn't do the heat vision. Um, but yeah, Tremors two. I think this is this is really good. It's a great sequel. It's a great sequel. Um, I mean, yeah, sure, it sucks. Kevin Bacon's not back, but promoting Bert. It. it turns out promoting Bert was the way to go. Uh, Just yeah. let me ask you a question. Does Predator two suck because Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> isn't no, it in doesn't. it? Okay, then. 
Um, I, and you know where I, I, I would argue though that this one is way lower on the scale compared to the first one for me. Really? Yeah, it's just even yeah. Fred Ward doesn't save it for me. It's just compared to the first one, sure. Like I still think it's good. Yeah. Like, like we I were joking about earlier, it's evil. fine and fun for me. <laughs> it, it's a good time. Like you, yeah. you can never go wrong going back to back with those. I do love that the uh, the size or the paleontologist ends up being the girl on the calendar. Oh, Miss October nineteen seventy four. Yeah, so he has, oh, he's okay. like, I have this up gag. here to show that I will never be able to achieve this. And then he ends up meeting her. She's there to remind me to stop chasing after things I'm never going to get. And she even like does the pose, like like that was <laughs> yeah. She like bends over. Yeah. Um, and I, it's like that's I guess it. I might be more nostalgic for it because it was my first sure. Trevor's movie. Sure. I, uh, I I definitely had seen it before because it was coming back to me while I was watching it, but I remembered very little of it. Yeah. Uh, I will say I do like this trend that the all the sequels kind of run with, where it's like, okay, well, how do we make these things more intimidating? Oh, they have a new form, or they have a different thing yes. about them that makes them scary. Yes. It's pretty cool. And S.S. Wilson, I think he writes... Yes, he Does writes he write the most first of them? four, I the think. The first four. Because he, he, um, they made that company Stampede Entertainment, which yes, did the first four mm-hmm. and the series. And he directs what? Uh, Tremors 2 and Tremors He directs four. Tremors 2, maybe some of the episodes. I don't know if he did four. I don't have the box in front of me. Uh, I, think, I think it might be one of them. I know he does two of the movies, for yes. sure. Um, but yeah, uh, solid time. And then we move on to Tremors 3. Sean, will you do the honors? Sure. Hand me that bad boy. Those morphing man-eating monsters are shaking things up again in the dusty little town of Perfection, Nevada. And survivalist Burt Gummer, Michael Gross, is the only solution to the latest in evolution. <laughs> they got I realize ex- it rhymed. They got the exclamation point there. I gotta, I gotta read it that way. <laughs> Aided by a couple of young local entrepreneurs, Sean Christian and Susan Chuan, uh, Burt puts his impressive knowledge of weaponry against the newest and deadliest generation of graboids. If Burt and his new partners can't find a way to stop them, then the creatures that put perfection on the map will wipe it right off the face of the earth. Tremors 3 promises earth-shaking, explosive, edge-of-your-seat entertainment. Oh! Mm. So... Tremors 3, uh, I think this might have aired on the Sci-Fi Channel. I'm almost positive it did. Because Universal, NBC Universal, they own Sci-Fi Channel. Um, it was, as Tony likes to say, it was a prom- it was a promotional material well, for Tremors the series. It <laughs> ends up, it, so, so, turns out I was kind of wrong about that. It oh, wasn't really? intent, as far as I can tell, because this is 2001, the series is 2003. So I think because this probably did really well on Sci-Fi Channel, they yeah. ended up using it to launch the basis, series, yeah. yes. Because Tremors 4 was being made the same time as the series. Right. So Sci-Fi Channel was going all in on Tremors. And uh, yeah, their hits, respectively. Yes. This one, um, it, it, look, it's definitely a step down from 2, but it's mm. still a lot of fun. It's, a, it's fun. They managed to get a lot of people back. Ariana Richards comes mm-hmm. back. I couldn't believe that. Her the, char- the actress who plays her mom comes back in this, but not the TV show. They yeah. swap her out for the TV show. The the kid comes back. Melvin. Melvin, Melvin. Yeah. from the Apple. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I yeah. love how he's like such a shit heel and it's like you almost think he's gonna get it by the end, but yeah. like you're kind of satisfied with what happens to him. Yes. <laughs> so uh so this is years now. It's been like eleven years since they showed up in perfection. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so now, we, now everybody knows about them. It's yeah, like a, yeah, yeah, it's like a uh, uh, Bert. Miguel also comes back from the first yes, oh, that's yes, right. one yes. of the other survivors. Yeah. So Bert, uh it opens up with him in uh Argentina, I think. Yes, yes. yes. Just lighting up shriekers. <laughs> he sounds like a howitzer or something. Yes. What is that? <laughs> uh, he's just lighting up shriekers, and you start to notice the dip in CGI. You're like, okay. Mm. Well, that's why that was a night vision scene, Tony. Yeah. Well, yeah, but when you see El yeah. Blanco. It's so like, this, this is like, okay, this is the direct to video CGI mm. that I'm used to. Yeah. Tremors 2, just a step above. This sure. one, it's like, ah, okay. This is your patented sci-fi shit channel. <laughs> yes. CG. Yes. Um, luckily, it's kind of used quickly. They don't linger too much for some of them. It They're depends. smart about yeah. a lot of it, but sometimes they just kind of have to show it. Yeah. And that, so, one, that one takeoff of the ass blaster is like yeah. real fucking bad. So perfection is now a tourist attraction. Mm-hmm. By the way, it turns at the end of two, Grady and Earl joke about making a monster theme park, and then they do. <laughs> they do. Monster yeah, World. Yeah. So that's why they're not here. <laughs> uh, turns out Chang had a daughter. 
Uh, and she's here. Yep. And she gets the <laughs> name this month, the new monster. Yes. Yeah. The new form. Uh, so she's running. And she is, her character shows up in the series, again, played by someone else. She's oh, okay. there specifically to cash in on the Graboid phenomenon. Yes. Well, we were talking, again, on, on that Texas Chainsaw mm-hmm. episode, I think you, know, you or Joe had brought that mm-hmm. up, that it's like, oh, they're monetizing Leatherface, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the town is a tourist attraction. Uh I, we were talking before the episode, and you can look up high res images of these. The person who yes. made them posted on a website. There are Dark Horse Tremors comics, which we were talking. I can't believe didn't actually exist. How did we get that? Wow. How yes. did we get those? But wow. but it was it's so because if you grew up with Dark Horse comics in the nineties, yeah. we even had yeah. yeah. And like I have aliens yeah. big here, but especially Dark Horse handling Tremors. Like yes. we're, we're, it's going to be a bloody good time. So <laughs> it's it's graboids. Shriekers, and then at the bottom it's Graboids versus Shriekers, but with the Alien versus Predator <laughs> oh versus. My God. I thought for sure those were real. <laughs> it was the same no. font too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. So Bert is kind of a celebrity. I do. This one's the most like self-aware of them. Yeah. I do love when the kids like get a picture of me with the tremor, and then the guy Jack is like, "It's a grab." Yeah, <laughs> bro. This guy's a piece of shit in this movie. Yeah. I don't hate him though. He's yeah. entertaining. Mm. So yeah, it turns out this Jack guy has uh these these graboid tours. And what it is, is like he drives them around and then his friend fakes that graboids are it's actually pretty clever yeah. how they have like the fence post coming down. Yeah. Uh, and what he does is he traps them on a rock and then forces them to buy refreshment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, beer. Yeah, that's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Um, it's Sarah- in line with the comedy from the past two. Yes. Sure. And, and meanwhile, Burt Gummer has like his fucking Batman like cave now and his bomb shelf yes. and computers and everything in the seismographs. Yes. He's got like four foot thick concrete steel reinforced yeah. walls Always around the perimeter of the house. Plenty of food. Like yes. a moat. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a mo- yeah, and then Ariana Richards is back in town. Yeah, and she's not happy about it. Mm. Uh, but then Graboids attack. There's also this weird like Moby Dick thing kind of going on in this. one Yeah, too. so this introduces El Blanco, the great white Graboid, <laughs> who ends up being a character. All right, so one of the other plot points is like the government's trying to get involved because they're right. like it's they're endangered species yeah. and whatnot. And Melvin wants to come in and like level the town and build like stuff. So he, so Bert's dealing with a lot, and he hates authority. Mm, sure does. <laughs> he really does. The best scene for me is when the government like shows up and starts. They all think they're getting arrested for different things. Uh, my cousin, he, he already. Oh, hey, to I've already filed. The right of the people life. to keep and bear arms shall not be hey, infringed. Hey, Department of the Interior. El Blanco turns out to be a. It's it's sterile because it's albino. Yeah. And because of that, it does not turn into a shrieker show. It's old. This gets explored more in the show. Yeah, but it's also, but it becomes protected, doesn't it? Yes. uh, Because spoiler for, we'll get in more into the movie, but at the end, uh, as long as there's one graboid around, they technically have two at the end. Yeah. As long as there's animals there, they're considered endangered and it's a protected area. So Melvin can't build his stuff. So they keep El Blanco around, but he ends up, he's not like good. He just think benign question mark. Yes, they kind of they like kind of direct him into helping them. Yeah, so that's like a TV show thing. Then I'm it ends. He ends up becoming a recurring okay, character. Okay, because yeah. I was kind of like annoyed in the in the sequels and the movies. I was like, why did that not come back? Like there's that was like, weird. There's like yeah. weird mutations and shit. In, well, there's in doctors the, that like mess with their DNA. Yeah, okay. I think it was for Lloyd's in it at one because, point because you know they never the first season was canceled. I think because yeah. it was too expensive to make. Actually, go figure. But uh, they never they still haven't gone back to what happened. El Blanco in the sequels. Uh, I guess you just assume it died. I mean, I mean, we're talking about it kind of this whole episode so far, but like the effects talking about be going down and nose diving oh, yeah, in this film. CGI, El Blanco the, looks horrible. The practical yeah. graboids, I think, still look fine, but yeah, the CGI it's, look it's really bad. Right, because there's a couple that they actually you know manhandle a little bit yeah. and move around with their weapons. Yeah. Those look awesome. Well, but... he does, Bert does get eaten at one point. <laughs> yes, which, <laughs> which ends up really becoming cool. a plot point yeah. in later sequels. Yeah. Yeah, he calls uh, uh, what's his face up and he's like, yeah, I got about 30 seconds, seconds of air. air. That actually is cool thing where it, it hits his bunker yes. and dies and then they have to chase all the grass. Yeah, it's awesome. That was great. Uh, yeah, um, it's still a fun time, effects aside. Yeah. Because uh, the Burt character is still really, really funny. Yes. It's funny to see the old characters come back. Uh, we get a new evolution. Yes. The Shriekers, after because he's been killing them pretty quick, mm-hmm. and he's never had them alive for a few days, so they turn into the Ass Blasters. Mm-hmm. They shed their skin. They almost molt into Yes, they things. molt. It looks yeah. like when you find like a cicada shell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what or it an is... alien. Huh? 
Or an alien. Or an alien. <laughs> So the idea is that they finally turn into the ass blasters and they can fly to new areas and drop eggs. Because they find an egg earlier in the movie. It, this is more this is even more apropos for McConaughey now because it has two, <laughs> it, it has two glands in its ass that fucking makes yeah. the fire that it's explodes. Got two glands it's got two ass. glands in its it's ass. It's a reverse uh, it takes dragon. a dump on the ground yeah. and fucking blows its head. In, in fact, well, they call them something dragon related, possibly oh, in the next oh, film. Yes. Yes. Well, this is two thousand one. What Reign of Fire was two thousand. Yeah, I think there, right? it's two thousand I think it's literally 2001. Yeah. Uh, the ass blasters are cool. Their CGI model isn't the best. It's reboot no. levels of CGI, man. Yes. It's bad. But I like the yeah. idea, like, that's how they go from area to area. They blast off and then drop their eggs and take it's, off. Yeah, it's cool, though, because, like, so when the worms turn and the shriekers come out, they're, they're on foot for as far as they can go. Yeah. Then they're like they vultures to kind of look like, yeah, I would yeah. say. But then they fly again. Well, then they fly, and inside a ass blaster is an egg, mm -hmm. and inside the egg is a little worm. Yes. So, and what I love is, uh, <laughs> it like is is eating stuff in the uh, the groceries uh, the 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 market. Yeah. And uh, Bert is like, oh no! If they eat, he assumes that when they eat, they're going to reproduce. Gonna reproduce. Yeah. So they make it into his house, and he ends up <laughs> blowing them all up so they don't eat his food. And then you find out he's like, when they eat, they go into a coma. Yeah. And he's just like, why? <laughs> Do I never know the things I need to know? Yeah, yeah. And that's how you get confirmation of their life cycle. They have the three forms, and then the the final flying one start drops the yes. egg, and they go back all the yes. way around. Yes. Um. And it's a fun evolution. I think the movie is fine and fun. Yeah, the CGI yeah. is pretty rough, but you still get like each of these movies are kind of formulaic. It's like, oh, the grab the graboid has made another evolution. We have yes. to rethink our strategy. How are we going to do it? Uh, and this is pretty funny too. I like how they managed to get one eaten by El Blanco. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's yeah, like yeah. a there's like a watch that drives El Blanco crazy. Yeah. And they figure it out. Uh, they put it on the 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 ass blaster yes. and make him eat it or something. Yes. Yeah. And then at the end, they have one ass blaster caged up, and then El Blanco just roams. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it leads into the series. Uh, but yeah, Tremors three. I I've always have a soft spot for it. Like I don't hate it. I under I, mean, I recognize that it's not great. I like it equally as much as I like the Zek one for different reasons. Yeah. Like there's things in both of those movies I really like, and there's things in both of those movies I I'm like, ah, I could have done without that. And we that. should say Bert is the, the star now. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent And I think, going I think forward. it says Michael Gross now at the top of the box. Yes, it does. There's or just it does. Like little things in three that I like because they go back to the first town and you actually have like I kind of felt bad. It's like, oh, you brought him back just to kill him, but Miguel kind of has a good story arc. Yeah. Yeah. And he gets, like, kind of taken out in a real shitty way, like, <laughs> drop 50 feet off a leg. Yeah. yeah. That, like, was, that was that was sad. Um, uh, but I like that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. you don't get Fred Ward anymore because mm -hmm. yeah. the second one's in Mexico. But this was, uh, this, was a, this was a fun one for sure. I do, I do like how they... Uh, they're in the desert, and now they fly with heat vision, so they just have, like, that big thing over them. So on the mattress, the yeah, yeah, to hide. Now, before we move on to the next ones, we should probably talk uh, not too much in detail, just a fun aside, about the TV show. Yeah. The TV show does kind of follow from Tremors 3. So Jody's still there. I think Jack, the, the graboid guy, he gets replaced by, not different actor, I think a different character takes over his touring oh, yeah. thing, yeah. I believe. And then Gladys Jimenez comes in. Yeah. I don't know what she's doing there. Is she like working on, maybe well, she's opening a shop or something? I don't like know, that. but uh, what might help is the back of the DVD case. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the last DVD, this is the last, because this is like a compilation one and it doesn't have any in the back. Uh, here we go. If, if you're curious about the one thing about this, they aired it out of order originally. I didn't know that. You told why me did, that. Why does that always happen? I don't know. The studio wants like the more action-y packed ones in the front, but then to like front load it, yeah. if they were filmed out of order, then you're losing character stuff and you, it's a whole thing. A, Look, you, as an audience member, you're sitting there by the second or third episode. You have no fucking clue yeah, what's yeah, happening. Like, what you know, you yeah. should shit or wine your watch. You're just turning <laughs> off. Firefly oh. fans are all too familiar with this. Mm -hmm. That was, that was the one I was thinking of. Life in perfection, Nevada, isn't so perfect since the small town developed a very big problem with man-eating morphing monsters. Luckily, the residents are up to the challenge in every earth-shaking, action-packed episode of Tremors included in this 3 disc set. Inspired by the movies that have become beloved cult classics, this fun, thrilling TV series reveals more of the down and dirty battles as the locals attempt to coexist with the Graboids, Shriekers, and Ass Blasters, now on the protected species list, including a particularly large Graboid nicknamed El Blanco. 
add to the craziness a uh, combination of secret labs, the gene blending mix master, and the occasional fanatical tourist. And there's never a dull moment in perfection. Fun TV series. Uh, yes. I guess two effects aren't that great. <laughs> effects aren't that great. I but guess it was, it was too expensive to do. They pulled it. But at the same time, they were doing Tremors 4. Mm. And now we can get into Tremors 4. Which is the legend begins. Titled, the legend begins. Uh, I think we're gonna say is a fucking curveball. <laughs> <laughs> I had no clue what I was getting into. So on I guess this. they decided. Well, this is the we've already figured out the Tremors life cycle. Where do we go next? And they went prequel, which is fine because I guess they didn't want to interfere with anything that was happening on the TV show. Oh yeah, maybe. I guess because they're like, oh, if yeah. we do a movie build, we're gonna have to make the show around it. So what do we do to get another movie out? Oh, prequel. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, oh, cowboys and and grab boys, and I was like, wait, that's the fucking first movie. <laughs> uh, this is also like the beginning of the the problem I have with the rest of this series is that you go, they they set you up with an awesome concept, mm. and then you're like ten minutes into it, and you're like, oh, I'm not getting that, am I? Yeah, yeah. This is like um, every I movie agree. does that from here on out. Well, I remember. We'll, we'll talk yeah. about it. I remember this is the one as a kid. I was just like, yeah, I think I'm done. I couldn't get into it. I've now rewatched it. I I enjoy the premise and the setting. Uh, there's some good kills. There's some good kills. There's yeah. some good funny. There's some clever ways they take care of the graboids yes. that are cost efficient. Yeah. Without having to show it. There's one particular one good kill that I like. But um, the problem is, so in this one, the only like new thing we get are the dirt dragons, which are just baby graboids. That's it. Yeah. And I thought that would be like a, I'm like, oh, cool. So smaller, faster graboids that aren't, and maybe at the end you get the big one. I think that bummed me out too. Cause I was like, mm. oh, what's the next thing they're going to show? Mm. And I would have been fine with smaller, faster, jumping out of the ground graboids. Mm, yeah. The problem is they do, well, you don't see the first kill, but then they have one scene with the baby graboids where you see them and then it's back to regular graboids. Yeah. Yeah. And then the rest of the movie, it's just, Remember Tremors? Well, here's what it would look like 200 years ago. Yeah. It's like, okay. Another thing I don't like is that Burt Gummer's ancestor is like here and he's like obsessed with he's got this <laughs> he's fucking British. No. He's got this fucking Franco well, he's Nero from Philadelphia. He's just fancy. He's not British. Uh, he's just fancy. Okay. He's got this Franco Nero Django machine gun that he's taking. Oh, at the very end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, what wow. I do like, what I do like that Hiram Gummer. Yeah. Uh, I do like that he's the opposite of Bird. He's very civilized oh, and well mannered. Yeah. Especially yeah. from like oh, an like... acting standpoint, the, how that guy probably got to roll with that, like the polar yeah. opposite of that sure. character. Yeah. Well, I mean, what, what is the what was the movie he was on? Uh, the show he was on with Michael J. Fox? Uh, uh... Oh fuck! Uh... Not Growing Pains. No, no, that's the other movie. The other one was it Family Ties? I think it was Family Ties. Okay. You know what else he's in that I totally forgot? Vanilla Ice is cool as ice. <laughs> oh, is he? When I reviewed that on my friend's channel, because. When you take the glasses and hat off of him, I have no idea who he is. <laughs> this is another example of why I will never make fun of Lois Lane in the Superman comics again. Because uh, if Michael Gross were, were to walk through the door right now without glasses or a hat, I'd be like, who's that person? I think... I, <laughs> Especially I, without the mustache. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I have an obsession with Terry O'Quinn. <laughs> but in these last couple movies, like not he this one... He starts to turn into he, Terry He kind of does once he goes bald and, he, and his hair turns oh, into a Oh, I'm That's like, what they're I, gonna do for Tremors Eight. Terry O'Quinn's gonna be Burt's brother. Oh, my oh God. I would actually Shine pay to see up. that. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Oh God, we better not say that. They'll do it. Terry O'Quinn. Let's get What's Terry O'Quinn some work. Why yeah. not? Anyway, um, Rob yeah. Gummer. <laughs> but there's really like this is like the first movie in my opinion too that like doesn't really have any really likable characters like Gummer's fine but you kind of like like him just because he's his ancestor you, I like to see him slowly changing throughout the film yeah, I love sure. like the, I don't the hate any of the character I love no. the badass gunslinger guy yeah. Yeah. oh that, was that, cool. ca that guy's pretty good but again actually. Yeah, more of that stuff yeah right but um, but that uh, character's kind of almost like a red herring fake out and I love the town is originally called rejection because yes. it sucks other than the dirt dragons, we're not getting anything new. The end is just like, we got to kill the Graboids again. It's like, well. Well, we do also find out Bert's ancestor made a very poor financial move selling his silver mine just true. because he wanted to be a hero, I guess. Yes. That's true. That's I mean, right. that was that's kind of funny. Shit. Yeah, but that's just a shit thing, too. Yeah. Well, I, the whole, they're trying to show that he's trying to put like the town above his oh, own yeah, personal yeah, yeah, wealth, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I um, thought that was funny. 
But yeah, it leads to like he leaves the town okay, eventually, and then he comes back with a giant what is the punt gun? It's this gigantic oh, gun. Oh, it's a can literal it's, cannon. It's a, it's a it's a Gatling gun. No, no, no. A, that's at the very very end. When they're attacking the oh, graboids, oh, he has oh, that oh. bigger one. Yeah, yeah, he's got yeah. a literal cannon that he's like stuffing yeah. in fucking gunpowder into. Yeah. So um, the uh, the ending. There's one clever kill, and that's when he puts the saw blade in the ground and starts banging oh, the noise. Yeah. So the, the you don't see it. The graboid splits itself in half, and you see the blood come out of the sand. I'm like, okay, that's if cool. you had to think think of a clever way to kill a graboid. But you didn't have the budget to pull off. That was a clever way around yeah. it. Um, but yeah, and the practical effects still look fine. Uh, but there's just not like I'm not gonna revisit this one. Yeah. I, and again, this is when I tapped out, and I was like, "Well, I'm done." I think I've seen it twice, including this time. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was, I was like, like, "I'm good. I'm done. I'll watch season two of the show." And so, oh, it got canceled. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, this, this is kind of like it. I'm not even comparing it because I think back I was in, uh, back to the future is what I'm, th I'm going to say because I think back to the future three even though people will probably watch that the least out of the three I think it's still an amazing movie yeah it's like this out of the out of the four we've gotten so far it's like oh this was kind of cool but they didn't really do much with the concept so mm. I'm good it's an yeah. if it's it's an if you want it yeah, yeah. kind of thing yeah you know yeah it's very skippable yeah it's very very skippable those, uh, those worms lay dormant for how many years, Tone? Yeah. 300, supposedly. Yes. Well, no, 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 <laughs> no. After, the, well, yeah, but after, the, I'm talking about the sequel. The Tremors the, franchise lays oh, dormant. Yes, the, right. the Tremors franchise goes dark. <laughs> it's just, it's underground. That was it. Because uh, they, they did the double sh one, two punch of, of Tremors 4 and the TV show, and they both oh took God. a shit. <laughs> so, uh, years later, I think Stampede is out at this point. Mm -hmm. They come back with uh, Tremor 5 Bloodlines. I skipped all three of these next ones. Oh, I was so excited. I was like, Tremors 5? <laughs> Fuck it. I <laughs> Sign me up. I Wholesale. Because 4 just was like such a meh. Yeah, and, I, and the I was just like direct to video again. I'm like, nah, Jamie Kennedy. Oh, you know, I like God. Jamie Kennedy, but uh, I can't stand Jamie Kennedy. No, no, no this is before. I'm saying okay. what what okay. happened before okay. I watched it. Yeah, last week or more actually this weekend, uh, I binged all three of them, and Bloodlines was okay. I thought it, I think it's good. It was way better than I thought it would be. That it has. I don't know how do you me. feel about that. True. <laughs> like I was expecting it to be shit. It, yeah. it was another middle of the road. This was fine and fun. Yeah. Better than I anticipated. Not yeah. great, but better than yeah. I anticipated. Apparently, it was according to Jamie Kennedy on his YouTube channel. Like he has a whole video out right now about why he's not in the last movie. Mm. Uh, and it's like contract negotiation okay. stuff. But he, he's mentioned. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, but they talk about, he talked about how like this one almost went like theatrical, probably not a wide release. No. But um, I guess Universal are still doing their direct to video stuff. They wanted to, and keep in mind, this comes out after Jurassic World. Mm -hmm. So Universal on like their A list theatrical stuff, they're reinvigorating the Jurassic Park franchise. And I bet they went, what else do we have? Oh, we have Tremors. That works well in direct to video. Let's bring that back too. Because they kind of did it at the same thing for Tremors 2, you know what I mean? Yes. Well, Tremors 2 was definitely cashing in on the success of Jurassic Park, plus Lost World was coming out a year after that right. one. So it makes sense for them so, to all uh, lined up. The plot in this one basically is uh Bert, he's a hunt, he's a survivalist. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's got a TV it, show. He's yeah. got a he's got a TV I show. I kind of love that. He's like that Bear grill yeah. type. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, but I guess his star is kind of fading, mm -hmm. and he meets uh, Jamie Kennedy's character Travis, who wants to reinvigorate his career. And they find out that in South Africa there is a graboid problem. It's fucking cool, dude. Yeah. To which Bert like is initially hesitant. He's like, "What graboids? They're only in North America." Yeah. And it's like, well. Not really. So they go <laughs> just to like in Resident Evil Five. <laughs> so they go to South Plus Africa. Plugus. That's what I kept thinking yeah. of. I think yeah. it was around the same time. So him and uh, him and uh, the Travis character, they go to South Africa and they have to deal with these graboids. But much like any any other animal, it's a different species of graboids, so they are not prepared for oh, it. No. And they're bigger. They they're are bigger. They actually say we will. Th All right. They look cool. The CGI in this. Again, looks better way, than three. Looks way better than I thought it would. <laughs> so the only thing I've seen of these three before this was a few years back. I was at a Nexus house and they had like 
part six on. The Cold Day in Hell, yes, which yes, we'll, we'll get to. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get to, but I remember just watching a scene of that. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, these Graboids look like decent CGI. Oh, like, well, like, yeah. like Game of Thrones, maybe not Game of Thrones, but like, like, like a bigger show sure, CGI, sure, sure, not yeah. like direct, not like network TV CGI. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, and this one, I really like the look of the Graboids in this. I think they look cool, and they yeah. have like this kind of more exotic look to them. Yes, and they're, it, almost like this more primal kind of look to them. They're I in guess. a very different climate. Yeah. Uh, they do new things. Mm -hmm. Their tongues actually separate from their mouth. That was actually cool. That's fucking neat. That was cool. That was cool. Uh, there are no shrieker forms, but there is an ass blaster. Oh uh, yeah, there's like there's a bipedal form though. No, it's just it. It literally goes from graboid to ass blaster. Yeah, but it's bipedal. Yeah, well, it's bipedal. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so was the ass blaster. The other ass blaster. Yeah, but they, so they, they look like a more of a is, mix, yeah. though, and they're like green, yeah. if I recall. Yeah, but I because at one point he's talking about the differences between him. He's like, "Where the hell are the shriekers?" Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> right, yeah. That's funny um, too. Uh, yeah, and look, it's definitely lower budget. I could definitely. See where they cut corners. This and the next one, heavy duty, look like a sci-fi original. There's a lot of they like, look good. There's I think a lot this of one looks great. There's a lot of like, you know, like they're they're showing from the ca actual camera yeah. point yeah, of view. No, yeah, security cams. I do love at one point the bad guy puts him in the cage to like make oh, him to look like crazy. fuck with him, and he's That's, like drinking his own piss. And he's yes, like, oh, I guess it's favorite, an acquired taste. My favorite thing. So you found out in part two that his gun, the HK one or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, the 140 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Reba McIntyre got it. And at one point, he's like, when he's going crazy, he looks in the camera. He's like, he like talks to her in the camera, and he's like, give the HK 41 a good home. I miss it, and to some extent, you. Well, that second movie, he's all broken up, but then yeah. after that, it's like almost played off as yeah. like a as a goof. It's a good, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, it's a good game. Um, yeah, yeah, and you know we got the whole African village there, the and they're trying to deal with it too. The bad guy is, or one of the bad guys is the bad guy from Chappie. Okay, that's my robot. Oh yeah, yeah. With the fucking gold gun. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a fun time. I'm not too sold on the ass blaster design, but then again, I'm not crazy about the original ass blaster design. Fair. So. No, I think it's it fun. just looks I, a little too different. Agreed. But. but for Tremors 5, yes. right. direct to fucking Netflix or whatever yeah. it was. Yes. It premiered on it, Netflix. It looks better than it has any right to. Yeah, and it is a fun time. The, again, the, it's on location. The CG's pretty decent. Yeah. Jamie Kennedy's fine. Jamie Kennedy, they... Surprisingly so, he yeah. is yeah. fine. They were... He... Uh, the plan was for him to take over the series. Because, you know, Michael That's Gross right. yeah, is yeah. like, what? He's like 70. He's, like, yeah. he's getting, getting up there. Up there yeah. I don't know if I needed that, but... And we talk we talked about this before, like this there's very I make fun of uh the geriatric actors trying to cling on to their action hero youth. <laughs> right. And it's Harrison just embarrassing Ford. every well. I don't get how is anyone excited for the new Indiana Jones? Not I'm I. not. Who the fuck wants to see a frail Harrison Ford just limping around? Did they see the last one when he was already like yeah. in his sixties? Did they see, did we see Force oh, Awakens? Did they see Force Awakens where he's like, oh, oh, oh. like it's, well. it's embarrassing? And Michael Keaton is Batman again. Well, that movie's never coming out. That movie's never, but it's gonna be fucking cringe. The only way to do that is the Bat Batman Beyond thing, but. But no, yeah. no, because no one wants to grow up, so they want to see Michael Keaton kick an ass. It's like, yeah, but it makes sense in Spider-Man where his wingsuit does most of the action. It doesn't make sense that this 80-something-year-old guy is going around punching people. Spider-Man like, is also a superhuman. Well, yeah, well, no, uh, but I'm saying the, the vulture. Oh, oh, and the vulture, sure. yeah, because he's got the machine. Yes, yeah. that makes sense for that. Like yeah. I like Michael, But when I looked at Michael Keaton in the bat suit, I'm like, this is sad. What about Michael Keaton in the bat suit versus a tremor? <laughs> or Graboid or whatever you what want to call it. Uh, Michael would, Keaton Beetlejuice. He would cook in the sun because Michael Keaton's bat suit was super <laughs> thick. He would just be on the ground. Ah, oh, someone get me out of this. Old Michael Keaton Beetlejuice yeah. versus a Graboid. But because... You're saying cool. worms, am I right? Because Bert is never really like the... He's a gun guy. So it kind of yeah. makes sense for his character to still be there because he's not going around punching. He does some ridiculous stuff. He's still susceptible, though. Yeah, but that's why they bring in like a, I mean, Jamie Kennedy's like 40, but they yeah. bring in like a younger-ish guy. Uh, he can still throw it around. He can, he can. I mean, Although get, that's definitely not him on the motorcycle. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I mean, they get stuck on rocks again. That's like a theme throughout this series. Yeah. Getting stuck on rocks for like 20 minutes of the film. Yes. Well, to oh, I left my radio on the top of my car. Yeah. Whoops. They go fishing for it at one yeah. point. Uh, I do. I, I didn't know how I was going to feel about Jamie Kennedy being his actual son. 
You find out that Burt Gummer had a one night stand with a real liberal girl in like the seventies uh, yeah. or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's like okay, fine. Yeah, it was it this October nineteen seventy four? It didn't annoy me as much as other movies do when they was pull fine. out the secret kid thing. I'm like, okay, because it's Tremors, yeah. and it's like that's fine. Like I don't no. have a problem with it. I don't uh, know. Even the characters in the movie are kind of just like really. <laughs> okay. I also, I do love that Jamie Kennedy is kind of like he's basically just picking apart the plot as it's going yeah, on. He's yeah. like, "This could be your moment." Blah blah blah. And it's like, "Oh, the bloodline." He's like describing what's happening in the film as you're watching it. Uh, and I really like the end where they all get together to figure out how to kill the grab boy, and they come yeah. up with that plan to like electrocute the ground. Yeah. Oh yeah, blow that it was up. cool. Yeah. And yeah, it's it's it at times can look cheap, mm. probably unneeded, but Bert is still really really fun. I love the idea of like, hey, let's explore graboids on different continents because yes. they probably are different. Because I mean, any animal looks different on each continent. Yeah. Like, I mean, look, look at them. There's this... like a deer versus an antelope. Like, yes, uh, like, exactly. Like if they were in the or white Arctic, deer, rather. they would look different, right? Well, right. Well, not when you have to save on CGI models. Like shooting, uh, in the, we'll which, talk about which it. we should probably get to now. <laughs> anyway, Tremors Five is it's 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 a good. welcome yeah. sweet sequel yeah. to the series. Um, and then I'm good. Tremors, <laughs> Tremors six. Did they take the? Oh, this is when they took the numbers off. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. After <laughs> there's like that thing with like movies. After a certain number, they're like, we should probably take the numbers off. This is embarrassing. Tremors, a cold day in <sighs> hell. A cold day in the Sierra Nevada desert uh, with a blue filter over it. They they went back to South Africa. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the thing. So it's pitched as Tremors in the Snow. Right, this is what I'm talking about. But we only get one shot of that. In one scene of Tremors yeah. in the Snow, and it's not snow. It's no. sand and color corrected, which you can tell. And you it's fucking tell. I don't know. It's you but want they make a fucking cringe. They have to make like a plot point too, where they're like, they're like, yeah, I thought it'd be snowier, and they're like, global warming. Am I right? <laughs> Uh, I do like the intro for it though, where he yeah. uh, Jody from Three and the series. Yeah. She apparently became a lawyer in Reno and just left him the store that he's taking care of. But now the tax men are coming after him. And fucking Bert doesn't like the government. Um, you don't say. So Travis shows up again. He's like, hey, they have uh, tremors in, fuck, I'm sorry, graboids <laughs> in <laughs> the right. Arctic. Uh, yeah, and the person talking to him turns out to be Kevin Bacon's daughter. She's Valerie McCree, I think. McKee. McKee? Uh, I don't uh, care. I gotta be honest. <laughs> I don't care. The details like, so start to be lost on like, me by this point in the series. I'm yeah. just like, daughter, who, what? Like, this six movie? You did yeah. it already. Yeah. You did it already in three. Yeah. You know what and I'm she, saying? Why does she give a shit? I don't know. So there's some connection to the first one. Because her friends got killed or something. Yeah. And uh, what she hires, yeah, which she like gets Bert in there to like take care of the fucking graboid problem. Yeah. Well, they couldn't get Fred Ward or they couldn't get Kevin Bacon <laughs> on the line. They're making now, their money at the amusement I park. I love Kevin Bacon's like, ah, fuck my daughter. I'm not going to save anybody. <laughs> yeah. Cold Bert. Now, what I'm you too busy said, counting my money. Now, after we said all that stuff about how cool the African variant is. Yeah. We get to the Arctic one, and it's just the ones from the previous movies color swapped. Yeah, literally. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same. Because I was telling him, I'm like, wait, so they're in, like, North, North America. The ass blaster should look like the one from 3. Yeah. Maybe if a anything, little different. Right. It's like Chaos and Blizzard from Primal Rage, right? <laughs> yeah. Just, just a swap. little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that kind of bothered me. I'm like, oh, okay. But there's still some fun action in here. No, there's yeah. A, there's, like, a tragic subplot where you find out when Bert was eaten in Part 3... He right. somehow got a parasite that laid dormant in him. For for 20 years or 50, whatever <laughs> many years in between films. And it's finally starting to take over and it's years. like messing with his head. I love when he's like telling. So he's like lost plug. Or I love when he tells the guy like do everything I do. But then he starts having a meltdown. The guy's like <laughs> imitating it. Well, right. And they introduce this idea because like I guess they always do talk about this throughout the series. That the shriekers when they shriek it, it kind of can be. De de it could knock you on your ass basically. Oh wait no that's the next one. Are you talking about? Uh, okay. That's the next one. That's the next one. We're See, still that's what in the cold one. Well, okay, the, okay. the reason they shriek in two is to release body heat so they can see each other. Yeah. All right. Well, hold, I'll hold that. Well, hold don't let me forget. Each other but I, that, when we um, get to that, I'm like, what? So yeah. So the movie has like a ticking clock thing. They have to stop the the grab graboids. 
but they also need to keep one alive to get the antibodies for Bert. Bert. Right. Um, and, and every time they're asked to keep one alive throughout this whole series, Bert's like, are you crazy? You can't catch one of these things alive. A live one. Yeah. And meanwhile, uh, you know, there's a, um, what is it, DARPA? The uh, the organization that they... I think so. Yeah. They like the ones trained like dolphins, how to look for landmines and stuff yeah. like that. They're doing some experiments there and they think they're initially responsible. And I think they are. But, Which is kind of a neat idea, but yeah. like it's, I don't know. So Bird has to save all of them. And actually, this is actually Jamie Kennedy's time to shine. Because yeah. then Bert's. Oh, yeah. Bert gets just, hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bert gets hurt and he's dying he's for most of, of it. Yeah. He does help in one area. Yeah. Uh, but no, I like how they capture the one in the big, like, steel crate. Mm -hmm. We get a practical effect. Which is nice. A really good one because yeah. they have it, like, I guess because it wasn't moving too much, so they were able to do it. It's, like, caught in the cage. Yeah. Oh, And he yeah. actually crawls into its that mouth. That was disgusting. <laughs> and, awesome. yeah, you're right. Uh, definitely a step down from the last one. But it's that, unfortunate because they yeah. were like, oh, this one did well. Let's go, baby. You Let's think go they pumped just a little bit more money just into it? A little bit more money and a little bit more time. Spread it out. Go just a with little the bit snow more. thing. Yeah, and, like, exactly. go full bore on it, though. Yeah. If we had that... Even if it was like one or two more kills, I get maybe it wasn't working from like a production standpoint, but like you literally tease it in the opening and then you just have like, oh, we're just in like a, a, a desert field with yeah. some fucking trees for the we're rest of the a, movie. We're yeah. in a forest near the thing. I at do like, it, at least it, it feels more like Resident Evil than it does Jurassic Park because yeah. the next yeah. one is very. What I was going to say, it also feels like a Halloween kill situation on some to some extent because mm. Bert's in the hospital for most of the movie and he's yeah. like your character. Well, like, Jamie do. Kennedy's fine. Again, to Tony's point, point though, he was supposed to hand off the series, so this theoretically yeah. could right, have okay. been Bert's last movie. Right. Yes. Um, but no, I think there's still some good stuff in here. I love when they're all in the garage just banging stuff. Yeah. So, there is a lot of slow motion in these three Ooh, because yeah. I guess the movies were Padding too out, short baby. and they had to pat it out. <laughs> Especially like some of these like explosions towards the end. It's like they're running away from the fire at like two yeah. frames per second. It's, like, it's one of those right. like like they, they spent a lot of money on the explosion. They wanted as much coverage sure. as possible. I mean, I get it. I you get know. it too. I get it too. Um, but yeah, uh, I... I think it's okay. It's. I think it, it's so after, fine. Far the worst one <laughs> so far. After after seeing five, I was like super let down again. It was like doing that yeah. thing where I was like, oh, three, oh, four. Uh, and then it was the thing where I was like, oh, five was good. And then I was like, oh, six. I guess because I watched them like in a row, yeah. I'm not really getting the disappointment yeah. on the same level you did. I, I was just like, oh, okay. I had such better. a good time with five. Yeah. And, I, and and again, it, they did the old switcheroo with me. No. For, uh, I do like when Bert six. finally comes back at the end and he's yeah. like naked. That's funny. <laughs> that was funny. And he comes out with the gun or the yeah. rifle or whatever. Yeah. So he, like, put his fucking hat on. That's yeah, all he's got on. Oh, he oh, gets he's a, got a new hat, hat yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's they, no longer the Hawks. It's yeah. the Cubs, right? Yeah, yeah. They make such change, a big deal out of he's that. He's like, did you change teams? He's like, no, just hats. <laughs> I mean, that's a little bit meta humor there, to be fair. I, I kind of appreciated that. Yeah, it was okay. And, uh, you know, they save Bert. He's alive. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we go on to Tremors Shrieker Island. This one actually looks like a movie. Like the way they <laughs> color graded, it looks like holy shit. This could have been shown in a theater. Yeah. I think it's, oh, shit, I think it's the same production quality as five. Wait, wait, did uh, did Bloodlines did that have the kitchen scene? With uh, the one tremor? of them did. Also, the Bloodlines just. I know we talked about it, but remember. we didn't to specifically say the Bloodlines in the title are that he he is has a relative Jamie Kennedy. Yes. Yeah. It's like well, Bloodlines TM. I'm your son. It's like oh okay. I thought it had something <laughs> yeah. to do with the with the tremor. But uh, well, kinda. yeah. I believe it was that one where there is a kitchen scene with a tremor in a kitchen. It's like, okay, that's a little. Well, I mean, it's definitely the fine. Shriekers. So anyway, yeah. Shrieker Island. Uh, which is fine. It's what's it, Richard uh, Brakes. Richard Brakes. Richard Brake. Yeah. Yes. I like this one a lot. Me, yeah. Me, yeah. Me and him. Me and, me and him we, we were buddies. Right. We were, the Dark we Knight were, crew. We were both in those movies together. <laughs> Did you see over the weekend, I turn on Netflix and it's like, number four movie on Netflix, The Dark Knight Rises. I'm like, well, a lot of my fans are watching this movie that, today. He, he might have gotten a did. little bit more screen time than you, though, Tony. <laughs> I just got to say. In Batman Begins, he did have a little bit more screen time than me. Uh, but I mean, I think we're, we're both. I think Fair. my scene was better, to be honest. He got paid. You got a poster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's um, the real loser, you know? I paid him to yeah. do a joke interview. Uh, <laughs> did you really? <laughs> yeah. The plot of this one is like, he has an island... He, he, it's, he, it's Jurassic Park. He captures 
or what, what was that uh, Van Damme movie um, where where the rich guy hires uh, like they, they kidnap like homeless people to like shoot them uh, for sport? Oh, oh, well, that's also that's also uh, well, that's the most dangerous game. That's yeah, what but, it is. Well, yeah, yeah but that, Van mean, Damme though. There's a Van Damme movie. It's it's that's not blood sport because that's a totally different thing. But it's blood no, okay. Something, I, I was, it's like, something I like Van that. Damme was in a most I, I don't, probably a ripoff. I don't yeah. remember a Van Damme most dangerous game movie, but I know the one with Ice T. Okay. With Rucker Hauer. Um, okay. What the hell was that one? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> anyway, it's like that, anyway. but it's monsters. That, yeah. It, it, yeah. Well, yeah, because saying. Richard Brake is both a big game hunter, like tour guide guy, yeah. and a geneticist yes. question mark so so he gets i don't know if the graboids were already there or if he imports them he imports them because they're not native to the island right. hence it's shrieker island right and then he's like he's juicing them up genetically yeah and really like messing with their dna <laughs> we finally get shriekers again yes and they are like crazy oh, looking. like their yeah. bones are protruding yeah, and they're all fucked up this is the one where they have a new skill where they could scream and disorient oh yeah. okay so that is new that wasn't just like oh yeah, yeah they always had this but we didn't focus no, 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 on no, it no they, okay. they make a point to they're say like it's new super shriek there's, like, there's a bunch of times where like gummer's like oh <laughs> oh, like having like PTSD yeah. flashbacks while these things are screaming. Yeah. Like, oh, I do I like something. I do like that. Uh, he's like taking like doctors and dentists on these hunts. Yeah, because that happens in the real oh, world. That's what yeah. it is just like the lion, the big game lion hunters and yes. stuff like that. And they're getting shit faced and trash, and it's like you yeah. are all going to your deaths. But Mr. meanwhile, Bowtie. yes. Meanwhile, there's like this environmental group, I guess, led by Jamie Kennedy's character's mom. But, but he's, he's not, not in, in it. it. Yeah. Yes, because he had. I was explaining to you beforehand. Yeah. He just did a whole video on it, and you can check it out on his channel. He had a movie he wanted to do with the Universal. He ended up being in these movies, and he kept trying to pitch it, but they weren't interested. And then apparently, the offer they gave him for this movie the same as the f the first Tremors I did. And I'm like, what about bonuses? And they're like, oh, they're halved. And he was like, nah, I'm out. Which I would do the same, to I be mean, honest. Yeah, but he wants integrity. to be in more. That's the thing. Like in the whole video, he's like, "No, I want to be the next bird." It was what it was building to. He's like, "But we just couldn't negotiate it." My thing with that is like, you also got to eat, and I don't oh, think. Yeah. Big, yeah. I mean, unless unless somehow he survived the Scream franchise, he's not coming back for <laughs> yeah. that, right? So no. they got so another videotape lying around. Take the fucking uh, yeah. Tremors movie, bud. But I mean, he's also probably got other stuff that he could do too. To sure. be honest, I mean, I don't know. He was supposed to be in that big Brad Pitt movie, but his scene got cut out. The, but was uh, he in it? Ad Astra. Well, he still got paid. He was in the oh, movie, oh. but the scene was removed. Um, just, you know, it happens. Characters. No, for sure. Yeah. As long as he got paid, that's good. Yeah, he got paid. Mm. Uh, yeah, so it, he's definitely missing. Yeah. Well, and they try to... They fudge it over with Napoleon Dynamite, and I'm like, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, again, like I was saying earlier, they always have to have these characters in pairs, I guess, because they yeah. couldn't think of a better it's, plot reason for them to be talking. It's just weird to have this reunion with Bert and this former lover, but not have the kid present. Because that's the that's the crux of the... Of yeah. The, of now, the, what uh, I like about uh, Bert drama. is... <laughs> what I love about Bert is that Perfection Nevada wanted to install a sewer system which would have meant more regulation and stuff from the government. And he went, no. And he went to live on the desert oh island God. by himself instead of paying the government. He's like Tom fucking Hanks and Castaway with the yeah, full beard. Yeah, he's got the long hair and everything. He really does look like Terry O'Quinn once, once he shaves it when off. When he shaves up, dude, he looks just like Terry O'Quinn and Locke. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 100% John Locke staring <laughs> right at you through the screen. So they have to find him because now, like, was it the, some of them get off the island, right, and attack them? or uh, Yeah, and then um, John Heater goes to find him because like we need help and he's like standing there like because they, yeah. they swim over to the the other island right right and they attack like the group that's mm. there i don't know why bert's surprised by anything now he's like they don't swim it's like dude what the <laughs> they swim now you should just expect yeah, right, it i, yeah. I would have been like oh yeah i guess they swim now that's a new thing we got to deal with um <laughs> they fly anyway with I, their yeah. farts like like <laughs> they do i wouldn't be surprised but it uh, surprised me that they this definitely is the most jurassic park like oh yeah especially toward the end it's a lot like jurassic world with the raptors in the jungle yeah, yeah, this is yeah, also wow. around the time when sci-fi what was this like 15 14 this came out uh this that one, might even been the one before this one came it. out like last year oh jesus no this was 2019 okay i was yeah. gonna say these last few are definitely okay, in the years. era of sci-fi of giant snake versus giant octopus <laughs> megasaurus versus mechasaurus and that was that was in like the early 2000s well, i'm saying in the last 20 <laughs> yeah. years they've been doing yeah. these I will movies say, heavy um, duty yeah we should probably mention briefly, like, between this was going to be the Kevin Bacon 
Pilot? Oh, yeah. Sorry, you wanted to talk about that before. Yeah, the Kevin Bacon pilot they were going to do, and that was going to be complete. It was one of those reboots that ignores all the sequels. That was 2018. That was 2018. Okay, yeah. so, that interesting. The and apparently looks fucking cool. They yeah. apparently shot a pilot. It was really good. I thought it was kind of mean to the original writer who stuck with the series and came wow. up with the lore and everyone yeah. is stuck around. And then they're like, fuck that. We got Kevin Bacon back. It's like, well, this isn't like Halloween where like the sequels were abysmal. Like, yeah. I kind of like some of that stuff. Yeah. Can we still keep, keep it? it in there? Right. Yeah. Why not? And who uh, knows what it would have boasted, you know, or bolded. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, well, now we we know from before recording that uh, they had a bunch of props that are available on eBay right now. You can get a Graboid action figure for 900 bucks. Somebody, oh somebody buy me a Graboid action figure for 900 Because when they shot, because I think it was like, in a, it's in an alternate universe where Kevin Bacon is the hero and he has all the merch. Oh, yeah, well, of course. Uh, but apparently the props they made made their way onto eBay. So they say like screen use, but it was for something that yeah. never huh. Well, to be fair, he did yeah. get all the money in the that's first That's true, movie. that's true. <laughs> okay. Uh, merchandising. That one was real interesting because the Graboid looked different. It was like a different kind of worm with a just one big tongue. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. It looked kind of neat. It was like interesting, I, but they yeah. decided not to go forward with that. Probably it because... very cinematic. Let's put it that I'm way. I'm guessing these were cheaper to make. Big time. And Probably, yeah. still doing... They, they were pretty big on Netflix. They I Netflix pushed these pretty hard. That's why I said they're the most successful... Mm consistent now they're all on peacock well consistently decent series right yeah that were made for next to nothing yeah, these are when people are going into like the fyes and the best buys and just yeah. picking up for like 12 bucks the like seven seven movies. Movies. It's it's all seven movies. well that's, that's the thing it's a guarantee to at least be decent yeah yeah every one of these is a is a decent time because yeah, you, you could like i said why would i buy just tremors one when i can get all the sequels for the same the price. Tremors exactly. one? why pay <laughs> Why pay $45 <laughs> for the Tremor? Just one Tremors movie when you could pay 15 for all seven. Well, you get all those extra uh, oh, uh, I know. H's or D's or whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm just being a dick. Me yeah, too. so, I mean, he reunites with the, the woman, and it's fine. I will say, uh, talk about shapely. So, Jackie Cruz. Quite. I didn't... I didn't really pay much attention to her in Orange is the New Black. She was the girl with, like, the heavy eye makeup and, like, the yeah. dark black hair. Yeah. Holy shit, Shapely. I was like, Jesus Christ, where were those in all six seasons of Orange of the New Black? Which character is this? She's uh, the Latina girl. Oh, okay, yes. okay. Uh, the real short-haired yep, one yep. who's like trying to make John Hedder a man. He's just like, you gotta oh man up. Oh, my gotta... God. <laughs> He's like, I was raised by a single mom. He's like, single moms are awesome. <laughs> he, he, was, he was fine in this. He was, he was less of a second banana than I thought yeah. he would be. I will say, I do like the kind of twist. I mean, there are still plenty of guns in this, but there's like a, this added thing where they don't have, like, Bert doesn't have access to all the guns he usually right, does. Right, right. It, it's not a military operation. Yeah, so he has, to come, he has to be creative. He has yeah. to be creative because he's been living on that goddamn island. Yeah. <laughs> By himself. But there is the one girl, the girl that Lara Croft with the Oh arrow. my god, yeah. Could that cosplay yeah. any be yeah. any more accurate? And she's she like, was cool. She's that like, is the, they are they are starting these the movies end up being like real derivative, this more so than yeah, some no, of the other yeah. ones. Yeah. It's full it's full out like cookie cutter. Here's the here's the badass hunter chick. Here's the bad guy who's doing mm. all the stuff. Here's Burt Gummer, of course, the yeah. the aging hero that mm. we know and love. Yes. And then the the young comedy relief underdog guy question mark yeah uh i love that there's like an even bigger graboid because it's super juiced up oh, right and it's like gigantic yeah, but yeah Cause, yeah cause richard brake is purposely making it like yeah. steroided up i yeah. thought richard brake was gonna hang out around a little yeah, bit more too. toward the end yeah. he gets killed off pretty quick yeah i'll look I mean, at the runtime after yeah. he eats I, it it's I like oh 25 minutes <laughs> left okay i do love that he loses his mind toward the end yeah. yeah and he's like he's just taking a bath he's like you should walk to the end of the bridge so the guy can get eaten and he's I, just shooting i also forget if it's this one or one of the earlier ones like it's definitely the back half of the series where there's totally a dude that gets like eaten through a toilet through an outhouse and i just thought that was hilarious because the only other person i ever saw do something like that was this guy over here <laughs> in his short film outhouse uh i mean Dude, does somebody a, get eaten through an outhouse they totally get so. pulled through a toilet if it's so. not oh, this yes, it's yes, one it's of the this earlier one. it's, in this, okay. one. it's yeah. in this one yes. so it took them seven movies uh, yeah. to have a tremor a tremor i'm fucking doing <laughs> I'm it i'm doing it it's a grab boy grab boy i keep calling i was calling him trevor's the whole time i'm watching it even though they call him grab boy shriekers this that and the other thing Bert goes out. He 
he jumps into the belly of the beast, giving it the finger. Yeah, well, that was great. And I do like so they they kind of recreate how they killed the graboid in the mm -hmm. first one, where they trick it into going off a cliff. But at the bottom of this cliff is like sharp spikes. Of oh dynamite. yeah, but it so, gets him. The Mortal so, Kombat version. Yeah. So Bird is like fucking dead. I mean, if they bring him back, it's gonna be hard to explain. But and this is like this awesome. man coming back from the limousine blowing up. They just have to say, oh, it was a storyline. Don't uh, worry about it. I hope they don't bring him back. Really. He they don't it, need to. It's know? it is annoying though that if he doesn't come back, there wasn't that like moment of him and Jamie Kennedy kind of like actually handing yeah. off the franchise yeah. to him. Uh, I don't think like, they're doing another one personally, unless it's a reboot. Just wait another ten years; there'll be yeah. another tremor. Well, that's usually how it works. Every ten. Oh, was it? Weren't you here ten years ago? <laughs> Next sequel. But was it that ten years ago? <laughs> Jamie Kennedy will still be kicking around. He's like, I'm ready. I do think uh, Michael Gross. He did say like he's not sure if they're going to do another one. He said he would do it, but even he admits he's like, well, I'm going to be like seventy something. I don't know how much more I can do. He's done seven of these movies. Seven. And the show. I, seven. He, he, he could. I was talking about those videotapes. Instead of finding one of Randy's tapes, they find one of uh, uh, Gummin's tape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, the Gummer's tapes. They put that on. They get a little, you know, play by play. They like and scream. That's how he gets his cameo. Exactly. I don't know if he could carry the rest of the movie. I think he put that tape in every few minutes. We need some more Gummer. Forget everything you know about graboids. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, I do like at the uh, speaking of derivative, they give him like the Logan ending <laughs> with like the cross. Yeah. Uh, I will say I was dying at the end where it's like April 14th is Burke Gummer Day. Yes. I'm like, I'm like what's April 14th? They're like, oh shit, it's tax day. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the goof. Right? And they give you the nice little montage of his life throughout the films. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think with they the include his ancestor for some reason. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> he played this part. Art. Yeah, it was a fine. Way I will say when you watch him and when you watch them so close together, there's a point in part nine where they play the educational video about graboids from part five. And oh, having oh, just yeah. watched part five like the day before, I'm like, all right, hold on, part nine. <laughs> so <Sorry, laughs> like, 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 part, part seven, part seven, part <laughs> seven. In part seven, they play the same educational yeah. video from part five, yeah. like which, almost in its entirety. Which oh, I really? love in the ex yeah. educational <laughs> video that it's which the cartoons like out of like Fallout or yeah. something because they didn't want to rebuild any of those uh, those monsters. I, I so do love like, how they have like something that sh that shows oh these things work with vibration. Is the is uh, little Lex from fucking Jurassic Park on the pogo? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, I don't know. Cool. I like details footage. like that. <laughs> Somebody was there documenting it the whole time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so those are the seven Tremors films. Uh, let's see. What's Well, I think we're all going to agree the first one is probably the best. Yeah. Easy, oh, of easy. That's so a classic. what's the second best Tremors film? Tremors 2. Yeah, it's Tremors 2. I'd Tremors say... Two. Bro, I'm oh, I'm interested. I actually think I like seven better. Really? Really? Yeah. Two? Yeah. Wow. That's cool. I didn't expect two, that. Two is definitely my number three. Okay. But okay. I, I think I actually like seven better. I, I I'm not here to judge. I can see seven like being yourself. I enjoy I them. It. It's I a little sillier. I'm yeah. into the yeah. silly yeah. shit. I, I I I liked it. I enjoyed them all. To it, some extent, these would be fun, like background binge movies. Yeah. Sure. Now that I own all of them, yeah. I can do that. And they're most and of the, them and are, the series. Yes, and most of them are on Peacock, by the way. And it's a great time to do it, right in the summer. Yes. Worst. Worst is easily six. The the the, the, the cold day in hell. Cold day in hell, where where there's no snow at all, and it's <laughs> kind of the plot kind of sucks, and I don't like any. They of the really just did that for the cover, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, like Bert's good because he's always good, but the rest I'm just kind of like, all right, yeah, uh, mm. Jamie Kennedy's fine. Yeah. Oh wait, Bert's in the hospital for most of the movie. All right, I, it just it just kind of well, sucks. Mm. Out of all of it, like, listen, it's not the worst movie I ever saw by any stretch of the imagination. No, yeah, yeah. It's just kind of like out of all of these movies, it has the least going on for me, and it's the least entertaining overall. And there's a lot of stuff that they just don't show to save money, mm. uh, which you get that throughout for sure. But especially in that film, I feel like you barely see the monster when you do. Yeah. It's just like it just looks like the other ones. It was special. annoying that they just yeah. didn't. Re like, I want to see what an Arctic variant would be, not just yeah. a color-swapped version of the African Whether variant. it has, like, fur or it has, like, icicles well, hanging it, off it, it or that would be looked, great. It should have looked more like, because you think they would go down, it should look more like the classic Tremors. I want right, to well, right. different, yeah. but it has too much in relationship with the, I guess, Pangea. I don't know. Yeah, just, uh, that, that one doesn't question work mark for me. Because the ass blasters fly. Yeah. That yes. kind of thing. But I'm just, I'm just going to cut to the chase. I, I agree with Sean. Um, it's just not that fun. I mean, even though I don't really like four, um, six is just not what I was expecting. It came too fast. 
after mm -hmm. five, like they got so hot, they're like, oh, Tremors mm -hmm. Five's doing great. Let's put let's shit out another one. And it was like, if you waited just a couple more years and like built up the uh, the budget a little bit more, you could have done something really cool. I hate that they gave us the bait and switch with the snow shit, and mm -hmm. that I think bothers me the most. And then just everything Sean just said for sure. I see what you guys are saying, but I'm still going for. Still going for? I'm still going for. It's just. It's it's just too like, there's just too generic like yeah. yeah they could have done something they could have milked the whole baby grab boy thing way longer and uh, they look cool but the problem is like by the way there's not a lot of monster stuff in part four it no. takes you get you get the fake it's out more about the town well you get like the kill in the beginning and I like the town stuff yeah. but you get you get the dirt drag the big dirt dragon attack and then it's just regular graboids but like even those there's like two three scenes that are very spaced out it just yeah. there wasn't en enough there to keep me wanting to stick around I, I it's a good premise the characters are fine I love Hiram Gummer being yeah. different than Bert yeah but the graboid stuff was just like seen it be fairly honest it kind of got the same symptoms that six has yeah where there was just, I guess there was six much... has more action for me though no, 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 no right but there's just too much there's well they're they're rushing six out and the problem with four is that they're also trying to do a series at the same time. Yeah. It's just too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? They get overzealous. And I understand like you getting excited that the movie that you thought wasn't going to do well did well, even though the past two fucking movies did well. Yeah. For some reason, you think that this isn't going to do as well, but it does. <laughs> um, you can take a little bit more time. No. And you, there could be 10 of these fucking movies realistically and then be all entertaining. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and, and yeah, four is just has a lot of just like talking 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 without yeah. really any action but all that being said uh, again i'm gonna say it for the fucking fifth time like this is one of the best direct-to-video series mm. that are consistently watchable i would agree you i never watch any of these i'm like this fucking blows you know what mm. i mean like even six it's the worst out of the series for yeah. me but like it's still fine if you want to throw it on i agree yeah you know what I mean? they're hard yeah. to hate yeah so i guess by voting i think Two wins best sequel, mm. six wins worst sequel. And then four's kind of right around four's the just pocket four's there. Yeah. Me, me and you are the outlier. You you picked uh, seven as your favorite <laughs> sequel. I picked four as my worst sequel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow, in a rare case, Joe is right. <laughs> oh, there you go. You're He's right. right. The money, Joe, you did it. You did it. I mean, you lost all those bets with me, but you won this. I mean, that I was predator right. one was borderline. Crucial need to know no. information. <laughs> but yeah, I would say check out Tremors. It's a it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, the week this is coming out, we didn't have time to do a Tremors commentary track, but mm. me and my good friend Casey, we did a commentary track for Alien vs. Predator. If you oh, want to hear us, I know we the have an episode. The first one? Yes. Oh, okay. I know we have an episode on it, but uh, we're gearing up for Prey, so we're going through the Predator oh, films. There Because uh, we want to come back, uh, me, her, and Tom, I think we're going to do a uh, worse Predator sequel. Oof. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway. I know which one it's not. Yeah, I definitely know which one it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. The Predator. <laughs> uh, no, <but laughs> oh, my God. That might be it. So just gave uh, away the goat, dude. Yeah, so check out our commentary track for that on Patreon now. I'm trying to make a point to have every episode be accompanied by a commentary track. Yeah. Preferably a commentary track for whatever we're covering, but some weeks is going to be different. Sure. Uh, but yes. Uh, oh, we forgot to mention the guy who did the first Tremors ended up writing Wild Wild West. S.S. <laughs> Wilson wrote Wild Wild West. <laughs> Why does that line up well, so well? Good for well, him. Well, to to your point, that's going on in the next valley over in Tremors Four. Right, right. You got to bring that spider <laughs> robot. Yes, right. Exactly. <laughs> and then Marty McFly is having that duel with right. Biff's ancestor, obviously in a different town. They get the train and all that shit. Blazing yeah. Saddles is in there somewhere, mm -hmm. obviously. So anyway, where can we find you guys? Uh, moviedumpsterpodcast.com. We're also on YouTube. You can jump over there, give us a like, subscribe, all mm -hmm. that good stuff. Uh, you can find us on Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash moviedumpster. Um, what or, else we got? Or you can just punch in moviedumpsterpodcast.com and it gives you all it the gives links you all right the there. good stuff. Got a little link tree. And uh, let and, me check something real quick because yeah. I think I know what you're going to plug next. I just want to make sure this is coming out oh, when yeah, I yeah. want it to come out. <laughs> oh, the uh, live show. What else do you have going on, guys? Is Movie Dumpster maybe hosting any screenings coming up? Well, you know what, Tony? We sure are. Oh, my God. Yeah. Saturday, July 16th at the Colonial Theater in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. We are doing a double feature in 35 millimeter film. Whoa. Of Ghoulies. Ghoulies? That's your shirt. Ghoulies. And The Gate. 
The Ninth Gate with Johnny Depp? <laughs> no. <laughs> that movie sucked. The Stephen Dorf, Dorf classic. Yes. Okay. Oh, man. I didn't realize there were eight movies before that. <laughs> Is the ninth gate related? No, it's not. Try to that. next time for our ninth gate review. <laughs> no. Anyway, Tony's gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Tony's gonna be there. And whoever is available for hack the movies, probably Crystal and others, we'll will be, be there. there too. Yes. <laughs> so, so get your tickets now at colonialtheater.com. Now, Joe, I'm hearing the word colonial theater a yeah. lot. Uh, is this theater maybe known for anything in particular? Um, yeah, it's known for a little movie called The Blob. From 1958, the Steve McQueen classic. That's where they shot the end scene where all the people run out of the, the movie theater. Oh, my God. That's crazy. You know, if I were a smart person, I'd probably make a festival related to the blob every year. It's funny. At this theater. Funny you mention that because they have blob fest there every year. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I definitely haven't been going on and off since 2008. Anyway, yes. Check us out at that event. It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a blast. There's going to be huge giveaways, like big, gigantic, like, Giveaways. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Yes, I didn't yes. include anything for the giveaway. Should I? You can. You can throw some stuff in. But we got stuff from Trick or Treat Studios. We got some stuff Tylenol? from Terror Vision Records. Yeah, if it is that sponsored by Tylenol? Also sponsored by Diet Pepsi. Apparently, is the is seal this, broken is this on giveaway? that? Yeah. Okay. Then no, you can't give it away. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, no, I got stuff. I got stuff. How about a pamphlet for HD DVDs? You better be careful because they're going to hold you to it. You better give them that <laughs> HD DVD pamphlet. And you better I sign will, it. <laughs> I will find something to put in the. How many things do I need to grab? How many gifts? You can get. You can give whatever you want. I will find something to put on the gifts. That'll be the mis. That'll be the mystery <laughs> gifts. Uh, so yes, check that out. And if you're watching this episode after the event, and this scene's probably annoying. So we're going to let you well, go. Well, 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 hold on. Oh, hold on. And you can head over to patreon.com slash movie dumpster and uh, there'll be something uh, where the, you could possibly view it. There'll be something oh. for you special there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm learning so many new things. <laughs> yes. Anyway, check that all out. Uh, let us know what you think is the best Tremor sequel and the worst Tremor sequel and yell at us if you don't agree. A lot of people have been yelling at me recently for my opinions. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> how dare you have how an opinion, Tony? Dare I? This is this is what we do. Yes. Get yelled uh, at. I don't hate you guys for your opinions, except for Ghostbusters 4. All right, goodbye. And I just want to point out, uh, wait, wait, one last thing before I leave. Mm. You know, this, this movie involves underground worm stuff. Yeah. I didn't mention the Sarlacc Pit or bad Star Wars shows at all, like you Book did of not. Boba Fett, which sucks. Yes, it does. But not as bad as Mandalorian. All right, goodbye. Oh. We are waiting for the dark souls of fighting games. Let us have it. We're ready. <laughs> Soul Edge has nothing on a lightsaber. Like, I'm sorry. James Earl Jones comes back. No. no. Oh, no. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I don't think kids trade games yeah. anymore. I need that sense of accomplishment and it wasn't there. And I think that that was a major flaw. The way they engineer these is just phenomenal. As much as you're into like the comics, I was very into the toys. So I was on like the message board all yeah. the time. Yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.